Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Her Flow. In this video, I wanted to share with you a, a quick video in which I wanted to share about the uh, DP900 prep third exam, like how this exam happens, what all you can expect out of it, and uh, what are the procedures to follow in this exam. So uh, before the exam, I thought I got if I had got some of this video, like some kind of video, so that would be a beneficial for me. Uh, but uh, so apparently I didn't. So I thought, why not I made it fun? So uh, I will tell you what we want, how this exam happened. So uh, first thing happened was uh, they gave you a mail that the day when you uh, paid for the exam, they uh, sent you a mail. Like for me, it was a Pearson view, and uh, Pearson view was the uh, per, like the authority to take the exam so they send me a mail and they send me the way uh, or the exact uh, things I need to follow or the exact links and all rules so what happened like my exam was from 7 p.m. and I uh, it was mentioned to just check in 30 minutes before like you can check in 30 minutes before and yes you I think you should check in uh, 30 minutes before and it takes time to just uh, load everything and you know to just understand to the, that it requires a lot of documents from you and uh, for verification and it really requires that you check in 30 minutes before the next thing is uh, when you check in they would first uh, normally they would ask you for uh, your details and you just need to uh, give some passcode that passcode is in your mail or the link you are just clicking on it has the passcode for you and after that they would check your system they would check your uh, uh, internet connection they would check your uh, uh, webcam that is is it working or not they would check your microphone as well so it would check everything uh, in case you have some kinds of antivirus running that may uh, pop up in between so it would just ask you to stop that antivirus and uh, continue with your uh, again login with that particular passcode so this all happens there's no issue with that so after that you would simply go uh, and uh, click next 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 so after what happens next it, it will ask you to add your own photo your uh, photo verification like some uh, government ID card and uh, it would ask you for your room uh, pictures so that's important so for that you need to remember that you your table should be clean like uh, there shouldn't be any papers or any whiteboards or anything that uh, there in your table so if you have a whiteboard that i usually have so i need to clear out my whiteboard so that uh, i can uh, so that I, there's nothing written on it and uh, regarding other books and stuffs on your table or some papers you need to remove everything and it should, should be perfectly clean right your table should be perfectly clean and uh, then i'll uh, it ask you for how this process happens i'll tell you so first of all it uh, gives ask you for your phone number so when you give your phone number it sends a text message to your phone number with a link now when you click on this link uh, it will ask you to first take your own selfie or take your own picture so that's the first step so uh, do that and after that when you take your own picture uh, it, in the next step it will ask you to uh, produce some government ID cards so apparently I went on with my driving license ID card uh, as a ID card and you can have uh, pa your passport you can show your passport or you can show your driving license or some other ID cards that's mentioned in your email as well so that's the stuff you did with your ID card and the ID card you need to take a front picture and a back picture so for me the driving license it was like that front and back picture now uh, you just um, gave your ID card but remember when you were taking ID card I faced a small problem with that that was basically uh, I found that the uh, though my room was quite late and it was uh, there are many lights on in my room but uh, I faced that when I was trying to click the picture of the ID card the image was coming in black like the ISO was too down maybe so uh, wh what you can do or uh, it's really problematic you know, to just click a picture because first of all I couldn't see what was going on there like uh, is the camera is on or not I couldn't uh, understand that part so uh, I what I did I had a uh, ring light and I just uh, took my ID card to the close to the ring light and what happened when I took my ID card it just I found some kind of picture was visible so first of all I clicked that 
and uh, I clip the front end and back end like this. It was just dark, uh, dark, and some uh, little amount of light was there. So yeah, I was tensed. Uh, like, what would happen in case the ID don't uh, get accepted? Next thing, uh, they really didn't accept my ID card, so they uh, showed that there's some. Uh, please retake a picture. So uh, they actually analyze the picture and uh, consider whether it's uh, they want to continue with the picture or not. So uh, in the next time when I was continuing, it was again the same condition. It was the uh, image that was uh, like image that was coming up through that my phone was a blackish picture. Like even I couldn't see, and that's not a normal with my phone. That's uh, that's probably not the case with my phone. Uh, not the problem. So. This time, what I tried to do, I thought maybe the ISO is uh, not getting on um, that the ISO is not auto, or maybe some other camera defects like the uh, camera settings that the image they are capturing of. So, um, what I did, I focused my camera lens to directly to the uh, directly to that uh, uh, ring light, like the bright light. So, when I did that, then uh, the I saw the image got cleared. Okay, so that helped me out and the next time I clicked my picture, so it was like, it was good. It was a normal picture. Uh, there was a small problem I faced as well. Next thing, uh, I get my ID card and after that, they need to uh, take a uh, picture of my room. So how is this happen? See, suppose you were sitting here and you need to take a picture of uh, facing your screen. Next time, you need to uh, take a picture from back of your screen towards your back. Next thing, you need to take a picture from your left towards your right and from right towards your left so this is the stuff happens in there so you need to take a picture from four uh, sides of your room so that uh, the person can like, they can know that you uh, don't have anyone in your room or you don't have any other stuff or any other cheating material maybe uh, by mistake you just kept some papers or something so the J was to want to confirm that there's nothing anything of that sort so yeah uh, that was quite that much so they took my picture they took my uh, uh, government ID card and my room pictures so yeah this takes some time like it took me around 25 minutes to because th there was some problem with my ID card picturing so we yeah, are it around 25 so uh, it's important that you just sign check in uh, about 30 minutes before the exam as yes, they allowed allows 15 minutes even within the exam or uh, after the start exam uh, exam start time to just complete this stuff but uh, I would say go ahead with 30 minutes before that. After that, what happens? Your uh, one by one, your exam starts. So I read one blog where uh, it says that the person got 53 questions uh, and one hour time as usual. But for me, I found there were 49 questions and there were there were after 49 questions there were like uh, a feedback and a feedback. So I will tell you what, how is this exam going on. Uh, first, they will ask of for feedback. Like they will ask for feedback in the sense like how confident you are in. So uh, if you're appearing for the first time for some proctored exam or uh, DP900 or maybe AZ900 AZ or something like first time. So I would say uh, mark this, the first survey you get as low or downscale yourself. So in that case, you might get easier questions. Uh, this is not something approved fact, but this is something I thought might be happening in the back end. So uh, if you just go on marking that you were well confident in every topic, they would ask you how much can rate yourself in uh, in how much confident you are in a particular topic. So if you rate yourself in a higher manner, so that's I think there lies a probability that they give you some a bit tougher questions. Maybe that's there lies a probability. Maybe. Uh, not sure about that, but uh, yeah, I wasn't 100% uh, sure. I was 100% uh, confident because yeah, first of all, I'm appearing first time for some MTC, and uh, that was the first time experience I'm getting. So I just uh, mark my all my uh, confidence level as low, 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 and so yeah, uh, that was. Uh, I thought maybe that is the reason I got only 49 questions, and I would say the questions were not tough. If you just uh, went through the learn path, like the Microsoft learn path is enough, I would say. They are enough for you this exam. Just go through the learn path in details, complete the whole syllabus and you will be uh, good to go with a like good score.
So uh, what is the passing score? Uh, they are, they are usually they give you a thousand as the total score, and uh, seven hundred is the passing score. That is seventy percent. You need to score at least seventy percent to uh, pass the exam. Yeah. So as I as I said earlier that I passed this exam, so I just scored something more than seven hundred. So that was pretty much about the exam. So you just um, need to remember that the first thing is check in. Uh, you just check in uh, on time or maybe 30 minutes early to your exam scheduled exam time and do the stuffs make sure the room is uh, well lit that's important otherwise that uh, camera problem may occur and also remember there is a proctor uh, there's someone is proctoring your exam at the same moment like that's a live someone is sitting on the other hand and uh, there's a chat option as well and uh, so uh, after the exam what happened after the exam after the exam got re uh, ended and i just by mistake click on the chat option so uh, then i realized that whenever you click on the chat option the proctor the person who is proctoring your exam uh, got uh, gets notified that you need some help okay so uh, avoid clicking on the chat option unless you really need it okay so i just somehow did it by mistake and uh, yeah the Proctor didn't say anything as such that why did you do so? No, didn't she, uh, he or she didn't tell me anything about that. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Also, a point I should uh, mention about the exam was that uh, whenever you end the exam, at the same moment, like the uh, instantly you get your results done. So uh, they give you the results, and that's a pretty much easy and simple way so you got your results immediately and you know whether you have passed or not whether you should appear another time or you have just cleared the exam so that's pretty much like this since this is a uh, like fundamental exam so they don't give you some labs or some other stuff uh, or some uh, things to do so this is the basically uh, you get multiple choice questions you get uh, more than one option correct questions and you get uh, match the following like drag and drop you get some options here and you get some uh, stuff here like the questions here. so you just drag your options to the particular matching uh, column so that is the stuff you do and uh, this is the stuff like uh, that was pretty much the exam like I don't feel it's tough but yeah it's pretty much e uh, not too easy as well it's you just need to go through the learn paths clearly and confidently uh, make sure you finish the learn path and I don't think there won't be any there, there would be any uh, problems in uh, the exam or in passing the exam it's you can easily pass it so uh, yeah that was all about this video and I hope I can make you uh, give some of the good informations in this video so thank you guys for watching this video uh, hope to see you soon in my next video and also I am thinking of making up series on DP 900 exam patterns or how you can appear it properly or how you can make some preparations though I have said that uh, the learn path is enough but at times you need uh, I felt like uh, even the I completed the learn path but at times I was looking for some uh, YouTube videos that maybe uh, that could be a good one so, uh, uh, I am thinking of making a YouTube series on this so uh, let me know whether you are interested in this or not so anyways i will do it so uh, that was all thank you guys for watching this video and uh, make sure you like this video comment out what are your questions regarding dp900 proctor exam and how uh, whatever you feel about this exam whether you have passed it or not i would like to know your comments below so uh, make sure you do comment down your thoughts and yeah thank you guys hope to see you soon in my next video